innocent man caught in the crossfire of a shooting on the Upper West Side. And as he is treated for a gunshot wound tonight, police are still searching for multiple suspects. CBS 2's Corey James on the Upper West Side with the latest on this. Corey? And Christina Marie's people in this neighborhood say shootings just don't happen here. And hearing that the person who was shot was an innocent bystander made them realize how easily it can happen to them. You never want to hear that somebody was caught in the crossfires. That is what happened to this 71 year old innocent man being placed into the back of an ambulance after a shooting on the Upper West Side sent bullets flying, one of them hitting his leg. I just hear like bum, 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 like, you know, from, uh, from the roof. And I look and I see people start to running. By the time we heard the pop, then you know it's a gunshot. The shooters opened fire near 71st Street and Broadway, leaving Sandy Harrison, a 30 year street vendor, and other neighbors frazzled. I was raised in the projects in Brooklyn and nobody ever got shot. While the number of shootings are about the same as this time last year, robberies are up 17% and felony assaults have increased by 31%. About two years ago, I noticed things were starting to change. Sarah Lebwall, a mom of two, says her family loves living in this neighborhood and does not plan on moving. However, she believes local leaders need to do more to fix the problem. We need, I think, our politicians to step up and help our community and communities all around the city get the funding for police, funding for programs that are going to keep these incidents from happening because they're unfortunate for all parties involved. And the man who was shot in the leg is expected to recover. Police say there are multiple suspects who they are still trying to track down. Right now, a motive is not known. We're live on the Upper West Side. Corey James, CBS 2 News.